Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm your host Patsan and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash true off my chest where a cheating wife is now losing her mind because absolutely everyone hates her now. Let's begin. Our first story was posted by reddit user appropriate dust. I found out in a ridiculous way. She was texting the guy across the couch from me, acting secretive and partially hiding the screen with her hand. It was so strange that I went inspector gadget with my phone camera and quietly zoomed in from where I was sitting. It was a bit blurry, but I could make out the text of my wife complimenting another man for his take charge attitude, how sexy that is, and how much she loves that about him. He was texting back that she's sexy too, and they exchanged blush and kiss emojis. They went on to make small talk about each other's dream vacation plans. She commented that I never want to do anything, and he laughed at what a loser I am. My heart was pounding out of my chest as I tried not to react while reading this. We were living together for 12 years, married for one. Um, we would have married earlier if COVID hadn't delayed things. I'm retired from the military with a disability from some overseas stuff, and I've been going back to school while going through therapy. I will admit to having issues like night terrors, anxiety, and being moody or negative sometimes. Um, I've been doing weekly therapy to work on this stuff. I've never done anything abusive towards her, but I can understand that having a personality like mine can be a drag to be around. I've always tried to love her and give her everything she asked for. We have a house together. Um, my family saw and treated her as a second daughter. I was close with her parents. I cooked seven days a week for her. I'd set up her foot soaker for her when she had a long day at work. Um, I'd make sure her tea was just right in the morning. She started a new job last spring. I thought things were going great. We were both moving in a positive direction. I was going to school and she was moving up in her career. In hindsight, I missed so many warning signs, taking up a new hobby, violin, starting to get more dressed up for work, wearing perfume when she never did before, and wearing jewelry to work when previously this was something she only did on special occasions. It turns my stomach a bit. Looking back at the times she asked me to help her put on a necklace I got her before work, knowing now she was wearing it to look nice for some other guy. I was so blind and dumb. After I read the sexy time exchange, I confronted her immediately. Really dumb, I know. Um, but I was being emotional instead of calculating. I was in shock. I didn't become enraged, but I demanded to know the truth. Everything. She panicked, started crying, making things up, and trying to downplay it all. It was just texting, she never met him, blah blah. For the last week, she has been trickful truthing it out to me. While she deleted the messages and refuses to tell me the name of the AP, she admitted that it was somebody she met who works in the same building as her new job. Supposedly, he approached her and asked for her number. She said she had been feeling lonely, so she gave it to him. He is also married and has kids. Apparently, they bonded by complaining about their mutually horrible marriages. She says they would meet for lunch or sometimes hang out in the parking lot. She says they only kissed. I asked if they ever met for one one-on-one -on -one time outside of that, and she became evasive and wouldn't give a straight answer. I can only assume there has been more than kissing. This has turned my entire life upside down. I've never been a big crier, but I've been spending quite a bit of time quietly crying into the pillow. And now he's <laughs> crying? Are you serious? I haven't told any of my family yet, but I believe I will do so tomorrow. As far as forgiveness goes, that might be possible one day. But... I think this marriage is over. It's so hard to believe that someone you saw as a soulmate could ever do this. Short update. When I came, uh, when I came home from scheduled maintenance at the car dealer at around 11 a.m., she was already in the shower. She had taken her phone into the bathroom with her, but had left the iPad I had given her unlocked on the bed in the guest room. I picked it up and saw a bunch of text messages between her and her friends. She was telling them she was living in the guest room now and how jealous that was making me. WTF. Uh, I asked her to sleep there. They were sending her stuff like, F that guy, live your life, you go find yourself, that kind of thing. I didn't see any messages from the AP. The shower turned off, so I had to stop looking. She came out, saw I had used the iPad, and accused me of spying more. I told her I just needed to know the truth. I said, just look me in the eye and tell me you didn't sleep with him. She refused to and looked away. I said, I already know you did, just respect me enough to tell me the truth. Instead, she went on a rant about how I'm trying to ruin her life, make everyone hate her, and get her fired. I said, just tell me the name of the AP. She told me the first name, Danny. I said, tell me his last name. She refused. She asked, what will you do if you find out? I said I'd never do anything to her besides leave her. She asked, what about him? 
I was so filled with anger at that moment that I said, no promises for him. She then went into hysterics, crying, grabbed her keys, and ran out the front door. She drove off to God knows where, and I don't really care anymore either. OP, when your wife says that they only kiss, you know that it's complete bullshit. Adults don't just kiss, they fuck. Cheaters will always minimize the scope of their affair to make them look less serious. Just make sure to tell all of your friends and family about her affair and get it out of your chest. The fact that she's refusing to name her affair partner shows that she's trying to protect him. Stop trying to get her to tell the truth because she never will. Just hire a private investigator, gather evidence, talk to your lawyer, and expose them to their workplace. Our second story was posted by Reddit user Current Ladder. I married my best friend last year. We've been together for eight years, and it's been the most amazing and fulfilling relationship I've ever had. Um, we had the perfect life. We have the cutest little puppy, and she's the most loyal and loving little creature I've ever met. We've been saving for a house in our dream city, and we were just about ready to pull the trigger this year. We were planning to adopt afterward. We finally paid off all our student loans. We have amazing friends and hobbies that we're both passionate about. Uh, we did everything together. Dates multiple times a week, every weekend for sure, and usually a few during the week as well. Road trips and vacations and events. We stayed up late every night cuddling and talking about our future together. We have a million little inside jokes and we sent flirty texts to each other all day. We had an amazing sex life. Every one of our fantasies, every day, often multiple times a day. Um, we made it through graduate school and the pandemic and all sorts of other tumultuous life events together. I work from home and I took care of all the house chores so she didn't have to. I took care of the dog. I did the training, the walking, and the feeding so that she wouldn't have that extra stress. I make four times her salary so that she can work her dream job, which doesn't by itself make enough to pay rent and bills since we're in New York. Uh, I've never complained about any of this, and being able to do all these things for her always made me so proud and happy so that she could fulfill her own professional dreams. And she still cheated on me. She cheated with a coworker she's only known for a few months who is way younger than her and who is her subordinate at work. I told her I would be willing to work through it in therapy together, that I could forgive her because our life was so amazing. That's stupid! You're stupid! Stop being stupid! She told me she was so sorry and would do anything to make things right, that she had never meant to hurt me. But I found out last week that she is still cheating on me with him. When I confronted her, she became unrecognizable. She was verbally abusive, yelled at me, and told me that she had never loved me or our puppy. She told me that she had just been using me all along, and now that she'd found someone else, she didn't need me anymore. She said she didn't feel any remorse or guilt and had only pretended to apologize when she got caught the first time so that she could keep using me for money. I should be angry, but I just feel so sorry for her. I'm still going to have an amazing life. I took our dog, my dog now, I guess, and moved out. I'm still going to be buying that house, alone now. All my friends, also our friends, and even her friends, have been so supportive. Even her family has been so supportive of me. She's losing a lot of friends. She's losing me, her best friend at the very least. She might lose her job. She can't afford rent where she's living either way. She always liked expensive shows and clothes and hobbies and going out to eat, and now she can't have any of that. It just doesn't make any sense to me, but uh, she doesn't return my calls anymore, so I guess this is it. I'll never understand what happened or why she gave up on our life together out of nowhere like this. <laughs> and now for OP's update. Um... I was completely overwhelmed by the response to my original post and was so busy dealing with the fallout, emotional and otherwise, of my soon-to-be ex-wife's affair to respond to everyone's messages. So a quick apology to anyone whose DM I didn't respond to. I've never gotten hundreds of messages before on any platform, but I did see them, and they did help me feel less crazy. So thank you, everyone. As many of you predicted, she tried to come back. Multiple times, in fact. The last two months have been insane in a lot of ways for me. I encouraged her to see a therapist, and she was diagnosed with a personality disorder. She didn't tell me the specifics, but my own therapist suspects borderline personality disorder, for what it's worth. I still love and care about her so much that every time she called me sobbing, telling me she hadn't meant it and would do anything to make things right again, I fell for it and told her I would help any way I could. Everything you say to me 
is pissing me off. In retrospect, it was so bizarre and entrancing seeing these glimpses of the person I used to know reaching back out to me in such obvious pain. And so every time she told me, stone-faced, a few days after apologizing, that she hadn't meant the apology and had only said it to manipulate me and had faked the tears, it hurt so much more, having just seen these glimpses of the wonderful person I knew for eight years. I got so lost in trying to help her during these isolated moments of normalcy that I lost track of how many times she abruptly switched her entire attitude toward me. It was only recently that I went back and counted. 15. 15 times that she switched between telling me that she loves me, had learned from her mistake and couldn't wait to hold me again, and telling me that she had no regrets, had never loved me, and that she had only ever been manipulating me. At one point during one of her days of normalcy, she told me that when she thought back on how she had treated me, she felt like she had been kidnapped by aliens and replaced with a body double, like she had been watching an evil version of herself destroy my life while she watched, helpless, from space. And then when I called her a few days later and she started yelling at me for not being good enough and telling me that she was busy with her affair partner, who she had sworn she was done with just two days before, I reminded her of her alien story. She told me that she didn't remember telling me that, that she would never say something so dumb, but if she had, it would have only been to manipulate me. I've never been a victim of abuse before this, so it took me a lot longer than I'd like to admit to realize what she was doing to me. Um, I always thought when I saw other people being treated so poorly, wow, I would never let that happen to me. But when I was actually in that situation, all I could think of was how I could help her. Why yeah, so man. weak? So weak. I always try to see the best in people. And as far as I know, this is the first time someone close enough to me to know that has purposefully taken advantage of it to keep hurting me with no intention of stopping. It still feels so strange, like I hallucinated the last eight years of my life. But I filed for divorce this week. I didn't respond to her last call. I know exactly how it would have gone. The apologies. Swearing she would make things better. That she loves me so much. And then, a few days later, the shouting, the abuse, and telling me that I wasn't good enough for her and that she had never loved me. Also, in some DMs, people mention something about hearing about my original post from my TikTok. I don't have a TikTok, so I guess someone is impersonating my throwaway account, which is strange. Just a heads up. If anyone is personally invested in my story at all, this is the only place online that I'm writing about it. Any other accounts are not me. Edit. Also, a quick update for all the kind people wondering how I'm doing personally. I've been having a blast going on adventures with my dog. My friends have all been taking turns reaching out every day. My family has been amazingly supportive. My manager told me to take a month off work to sort myself out, and it was super refreshing. Being back at work afterward has been great. My coworkers have been hyping me up and checking in with me at lunch. I was able to get back to some old hobbies I dropped because of the pandemic and made some new friends there. Um, it's been good. I'm, I'm good. Wow, OP. I gotta agree with your statement about yourself. You are stupid. Look, I also believe in second chances, but there are certain scenarios that make giving second chances so fucking stupid. You didn't just give her a second or a third chance. You gave her 15, you damn donut. How many is too much? You earn four times as much as her, take care of the house, cook all of the food, do all the chores, paid all of the bills. If you're doing all of that, then what use is she in your life? She's just dead weight that breaks your heart and disrespects you. And you're afraid of losing that? Are you crazy? OP, think about yourself and your health. What she's doing to you isn't okay, and her disorder isn't an excuse for her to behave like a demon. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat's Hunt to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.